hello there rishi this side today we'll see how to create an illusion of draggable element in figma something like this as you can see it it is perfectly snapping to the edges of its viewport and for fun you can even throw it around your viewport something like this without a further ado let's jump into the tutorial i have a component here i'm calling it a widget you can have any other uh, component or maybe element whichever you want to make draggable so i've dragged a copy out of it in the viewport let's select the frame tool and draw a frame equivalent to the width and height of the viewport perfect 400 by 800 that's what our viewport width and height is let's rename this frame to drag drag container now let's draw a rectangle inside this drag container now width and height of this rectangle should be double the width and height of its parent element that is 400 into 2 800 by 1600 let's align it to the center of its parent element let's move it down and rename this to overflow element now the behavior which is gonna give us a feel of drag is actually scroll both vertical and horizontal how are we gonna do that is click this drag container go to prototype window and see this setting horizontal and vertical scroll just select it now if i see this in the prototype window as soon as you click and drag on this viewport this is giving an illusion of dragging this element but actually we are just horizontally and vertically scrolling the drag container so that's the trick you are halfway there as you can see our drag element is going past our viewport width and height this shouldn't happen let's fix this do bit of a maths we need to change the width and height of this overflow element and to do that we need to subtract the width and height of the widget element it is 100 by 150 so we need to subtract 100 from the width of overflow element and 150 from the height let's again align its center and refresh our prototype window and let's see everything in action now as soon as i click and drag this is perfectly snapping to the edges now let's go a bit further and refine this interaction let's first of all reduce the opacity to zero of the overflow element now add a micro interaction to the widget component like the parent component add a variant let's call it on click <clears throat> so basically whenever the user taps on this element it should highlight in certain way so let's add a dashed stroke of 5 pixel let's make it white and we can maybe reduce the opacity to 80 percent and let's add a drop shadow as well now let's add the micro interaction go to the prototype window select the default variant add an interaction to the second variant and change this even from on click to mouse down so mouse down is basically when you press or tap 
on your trackpad or press your left mouse button select the second variant add an interaction of mouse up so as soon as you release the trackpad button or your left mouse button it should move back to its default state let's go to our prototype window press r to refresh and see this in action as i press my left button it is highlighting and as soon as i release it it's moving back to its original state so this was a small trick to make elements or rather i should say illusion of a draggable element in figma now here comes another question what if i don't want to place my widget in the center of the screen but if my default position is bottom right or top right or as a matter of fact any other part of the screen so how to fix that we'll go to the design file we need to select both the elements widget plus overflow element and let's place it according to your need maybe bottom right corner and that's it let's hit r to refresh the portal you can see it's still working fine if you have any questions let me know in the comments and as always if you like this video please share it with your fellow designers thanks for watching bye bye